Okay, hey everybody, this is Grace, and in this one I'm just carrying on some videos that I've been making, and this one I want to say, how's that been working for you? <laughs> okay, <laughs> not trying to be mean or anything, I, I'm not the type to blame any victim, uh, but sometimes it's, it, there's a line here, there's a, a fine line between whether they are the victim, the, the victimizer, or the both. Yeah, I've, I've been making videos. I'm not going to go back through all that about this. But it's basically what I've been seeing online. Now, I've been online since 1990 and some before then. And my first computer in 1982, I was one of those original little geeks that were uh, before the World Wide Web was... I don't even know when it came into existence, but we were kind of like connecting our computers together. You know, like me from my home, somebody else from their home, and through Telnet and all this kind of stuff. So, one of those way back then, 40 something years ago, around there. Anyway, but during this time, I have certainly, when once social media platforms started coming up, I certainly have seen my, over my fair share, as if there is a fair share, uh, in these kinds of people that are quite delusional. You could say they're delusional, you could say they're paranoid, they're not all the same, they don't all do the same. One size doesn't fit all, um, but they have such a sense of self, like they are something far above what they are, and some of them are the types to, they seem rather overall mild in comparison to others. Some of them seem like, you know, pure psychopaths or sociopaths, and some seem more just like uh, narcissistic. Now, nar the personality disorders, narcissistic personality disorder, Antisocial personality disorder, um, borderline personality disorder, which does not mean that they they might have a, you know, soon have a personality disorder. No, that's not what that borderline means. And histrionic personality disorder. I'll, I don't di diagnose anybody, but the behaviors of you can have some that go in and out, and plus then and then some more, and not even there <laughs> with people and. Uh, Anyway, I've certainly seen plenty of these over all these years in my life. Now, I know some people like to say that, you know, there's this online life and then there's, you know, like, what usually when I hear is when people say, yeah, they're going to go, trying to go real life with it. It's all real life. I get what they mean, that, like, somebody's going to take it offline and make it, um, you know, they're going to take it from online and make it offline. Okay, you know, in real uh person real face to face but like I said it's all real life don't give me that crap you know that's that's a way of that's way some of them let me put it this way some of them some notice the word some are uh, trying to put out there so they basically what little conscience they have left that they can say well this is the reason you know, it's it, because, you know, since it's just online, and they do it like that, just online, it's not that bad, because everybody knows, they love using that everybody knows, <laughs> that it's all just online. It's not real. They do that, like I said, so they could, you know, the little bit of conscious they may have, some may not, you know, say, oh, it's okay, baby, it's okay. You see? So they don't have to feel remorse, guilt, or shame for what they've done. By the way, people who don't feel remorse, guilt, or shame, that's how what I was taught many years ago uh, at university is when they were talking about psychopaths. Okay. My degrees are in psychology and sociology. I've uh, taught, I have my master's this is in sociology, and I taught at college and university. Yeah. So, Okay. Okay. Now, when I say the, the, this about how's that working for you, you know, the, uh, it's about the people who are like the commentators and the reviewers who are on one side, and then the people who ma are making videos and they're not liking those people, and or they and or well, they just want to pick fun at them for whatever reason. <laughs> whatever. I've done so many videos about this. Like I said, don't want to go through all of that again, but. Let's just say a common, you know, one of these are commentary reviewers. They could be adult mean boys, adult, adult mean girls, and versus somebody who is really putting out some bad stuff. You know, that's yeah. Okay, I seem to be having a hard time 
Speaking, when I, f I first started this video, I had to put it on a different one <laughs> because I was just uh, really, yeah, this allergies, okay? But anyway, so to get back to this, um, you know, like there's people who, like I said, you know, delusional or they're paranoid, and of course there's that there's schizophrenia that's po possibly. I'm, I'm not I don't diagnose. I'm just looking at the behaviors of some of these, you know, where I've seen. And the, the people who are these commentators, mean girl, don't mean boy, that's what they come off to me. Okay, and I do believe, you know, between my degrees and my experience in life of dealing with people with, who are actually diagnosed with borderline personality disorder, some of them were, uh, some with, um, um, well, there, with, what I call it is the expression, like, Narcissism, um, histrionic blend of behaviors, the behaviors that I see. And I've known some people um, who were diagnosed as bipolar, but it certainly seems kind of a bit like, well, I'm not going to say that they weren't. I'm, I don't go against what they were diagnosed with by a professional. And, uh, but like somebody told me about one of them, is she must also have a personality disorder. And yes, they can be comorbid. Can, comorbid um, yeah but what I see the behaviors to get back to this you know the adult mean girl adult mean boy you know they go around and they're so hypocritical they're not perfect but they act like they are and then they they're like I said filled with hypocrisy what they're saying and they seem to be quite obsessed with their victims and they also seem to be getting a thrill out of when, um, I, I wouldn't say, they, they get a, a kick out of when, some it's, it's a mixture, okay, it can be schadenfreude, or it can be sadism, okay, I should talk about sadism when I first heard of it, and not the kind that you might be thinking, okay, when I first heard of it, I've told this story before, okay, I was in the fifth grade, fifth grade, all of ten years old, and, uh, it was a child's book, okay, a fifth grade book. The teacher had us read it in the class, okay, and it was about a lawyer. It was, you know, the kind that are, when you're, ten, you're 10 years old and you're fifth grade, or however, 11 years old, they draw, the, there are a lot of pictures in books, and there was a picture of this big kind of beefy man, probably what age I am now. You got awful close to me. And, uh, you know, big, beefy, and, like, he was, he, he was a juror, a juror, juror, <laughs> it's not going out right, but he was, you know, in a suit, and time they showed him with, like, he was sweating, a lot of, you know, all this, but, um, he, he just looked like not a nice man, and they called him a sadist. Because what he, they went through the jurors, you know, in this book, okay, for kids. Now, for kids. Wow. Um, about him being that, because he, um, he, he liked the thought that he was on a jury because he could, uh, you know, kind of inflict some kind of uh, misery on somebody. You know, that they might not be guilty at all but even you know if they were he, he enjoyed that thought of that they were going to go to jail go to, go to prison I mean um, because of what he he assisted in you know, being a juror being on the jury you get it okay you know the, the whole thing of enjoying the pain not the pain if not physical pain but maybe emotional the um, that this this person would be suffering, you know, or humiliated, whatever. He was enjoying that. That's when I first heard about it. Yeah, fifth grade. Wow. And it was a book for fifth graders. And I remember going up to my teacher, which she didn't like me. <laughs> that was the only teacher I ever had. Didn't like me. She had her favorites, and she made sure everybody knew it. Really, she did. She was not a nice woman to all the rest of us. But uh, I went up to her, and I said, what does this word mean? <laughs> She was, we were reading silently, and she was embarrassed. 
maybe she hadn't read the book f beforehand. You know what I'm saying? So, because it doesn't always mean the opposite. I'm going to leave all that out. But anyway, now Schadenfreude, I learned that in at university because my degrees are in psychology and sociology. And uh, so, okay, anyway, you can look those up on the Oxford uh, uh, Dictionary online. Schadenfreude, basically, the, well, how was it that I was taught? It was like somebody just gets a kick out of uh, when somebody else has something bad happen to them, or some kind of misfortune, and that's the kind of word they use on a uh, Oxford dictionary, misfortune. You know, somebody just cracks up laughing, they, or they just, uh, it like made their day that other people, you know, somebody else, uh, another person or people, aren't having good days. Bad things are happening to them. They just enjoy it so much. And I looked it up on the, also there, I think it was there, that they said, is there an English word for, for it? And it said, and I am going to screw this pronunciation up 100%, because I didn't look it up <laughs> that far, was, you know, in English, it would be, it's, it's spelled like this, epic, mm, R, it could see, right? Epic of a verse. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to pronounce it. I can tell you that right now. And, uh, and, that, and it said, oh my God, this rhymes. Okay, don't get so close to me. Seriously, I will never understand the, the people who see somebody parked, and I'm parked legally, okay, at a park, and the road is like this. There, there's enough room for them to kind of move over, but they get, they stay in this lane. There's no line that says you, can, you can't go over into that lane if you're going around somebody. Nothing like that. And there's nobody coming this way. <laughs> Why they can't just inch over a little bit to where they don't almost take off my rear view mirror. They get so close, some of them, not all. It's kind of scary, to tell you the truth. When, especially when they come speeding by, seriously. <laughs> like some of these big... Um, what are they called? Shuttle buses? You see that shuttle buses around here. And uh, they come speeding by. <laughs> so anyway, um, Epicus, Epicurus, let's see. Uh, I'm not going to be able to pronounce it. Maybe eventually if I try hard enough. Um, is when, to paraphrase, um, well, it would be pretty much the same. You know, getting a kick out of it, really. You know, from some something bad ha happening to somebody else. It's close. It's pretty much the same thing. Okay. And, uh, I mean, how many of us have known that? I mean, there are shows you can watch where all you're seeing is misfortune happen to people one after another after another. You know what I'm saying? People having things that weren't good. Weren't, they may even be hurt physically. And people are laughing. They got that canned music where they have actually people in the in the uh, audience cracking up laughing over these things. Now, there's a certain degree that people can have, you know, think it's funny. But, I mean, imagine if you're walking, you, you see an elderly person um, trip over something or a, like an animal. It's happened to me. I'm not elderly. But uh, an animal run in front of me, and when my dogs ran in front of me, I fell down. Now imagine somebody that's standing there, and they're just cracking up laughing. It's so hilarious to them that I fell down. Or that an elderly person fell down. They think it's hilarious. That's a bit on the psycho side, and I mean that literally. Yeah, antisocial. By the way, and now I know a lot of people, and I have done, did it when I was young, you know, like in my 20s, used uh, the term antisocial to mean what really is actually asocial. I'm going to say it that way. A, and the word social, put it together, look it up. <laughs> I don't tell anybody what to do with me. But yeah, you know, I just don't want to deal with people. That's it. You know, just don't want to have anything to do with anybody. Maybe it's just today. You know, this kind of thing. Or maybe it's even longer than today. And some might say, you know, some introverts might do this, some loners, some uh, hermits, some 
What are the words? You know, they just don't want to deal with people. But antisocial, basically, there's so many different people say so many different things, but basically antisocial is psychopaths, sociopaths, in my view. I was taught very different than more recently, you know, people who got their earned their degrees more recently, um, where you don't hear much about psychopaths and sociopaths. And if you do, they're going to have changed it all around. <laughs> who knows, really. But, uh, so anyway. Okay, now, where was I? You might start seeing the sky soon because when people, it's going to get very busy right in here. And once it does, I don't want to, it's going to be it's schools out and an elementary school. And Enoch sometimes pronounce it elementary. And sometimes I pronounce it as elementary. <laughs> but anyways, just right over there. And when that is, I don't put other people's kids in my videos. So, um, anyway, let's see, where was I? So like I started this off, how is that working for you? Those, these are, now let's go back to these people. The people who are the adult mean girls, that some of them seem to get a kick out of causing them um, the other side, this kind of thing. Adult mean girls, adult mean boys. Some of them are not. Some of them are people who actually, actually do want to see that this kind of, what they call, they may call, uh, pure evil offline off of social media that whatever social media platform it is and i tend to call all of them where people make videos i just call them channels i don't know the names of all of them don't know the names of all the social media platforms and like what is it on twitter what is it on tiktok you know um instagram facebook whatever there's more i know more i'm on, on more than one uh the other more and I don't know what they call them, okay? You know, they're channels. I'm just going to call it all channels as I usually do, all channels. So, the people that do the commentary have the commentary review channels who are the adult mean girls and adult mean boys. They're not all that. that. They don't all act the same. They're not all bad. Okay. Okay. Now, when they are, they are throwing all their hate, some of them do seem like they're just throwing all their hate. And maybe there's some projection going on there. Actually, I would say, I could say hypocrisy. And it's some, in a way, they're throwing it all theirs out like that. And their kind of delusional behavior is that they think that they're better than everybody. If you got to throw out that kind of hate, I mean, hate, it's like, oh my goodness, it's thick. You can cut it with a knife, hate. And I'm not talking about racism, sexism, ageism, so, although sometimes it is involving those and or other the negative isms as I call it but yeah sometimes it's just that you can feel it it's something that they know that they are doing in some way and but they're going to put it out somebody else does it in a big way so they can kind of take it you know deflection away from themselves projection and put it on somebody else to make others look at them how bad that those other ones are whether it's male or female. So that, that that negative attention will be put on somebody else, not on them. Okay, now, they, they may be doing this about people who are bad. They might not, and also. Um, who are delusional on their own. And these, these delusional people will come up with some uh, grandiose sense of self. You know, the narcissist, kind of narcissistic. Not just kind of, it is. Um... But they're delusional, very delusional. I mean, it's extreme delusional. That they think that they, like some people will think that they know better than any kind of professional. And that you can see them slowly setting up a scene. I said that in the last video, I think. They're slowly setting up. And it could take months, weeks, days. Uh, go backwards, days, weeks, months, years. And uh, I'll go forward. Um, before... They, 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 you know, use whatever that is. For they, have, they feel like they have a good reason to say, see there, I told you all, all this all along. You know, this psychiatrist or this uh, law enforcement, this sheriff, this um, lawyer, this, uh, what else? This CPS department, um, 
so many different types of professionals, these reporters, the then this news channel, they these <laughs> they can set them up all up one by one by one, you know, over time, so they can say, see there, I told you so, I told you also, you know, and the, then they use and people by then have probably forgotten what you said, or they didn't even they weren't even around to hear what they had said originally. They just say, oh, okay, he must have said that. You say you. You're saying you said that many months ago, so well, you must have. I'm not going to go back and try to find it, you see. Okay, well, anyway, they, they come up with stories, and um, you know, they, they put them in some kind of spotlight, like they're, they're um, in a good spotlight. Okay, that makes them look really good. They'll come up with stories, and then they, um, they come up with some pretty crazy stories. And to keep up their delusions of who they really are and within themselves. The, their stories can get crazier and crazier and crazier as time goes by. And they can go back to just having regular, you know, put themselves in the good light, you know, in their spotlight. And look at me, look at me. I'm so smart and I know everything so much more than everybody in the world. I am a this, I am a that, I am a... When they're none of these. Like they, they might think that they know more professors. How about that? They know more than the professors in that field that the professor is professing. <laughs> is teaching at a university. And they know more than that professor. Seriously. And they have never, possibly, it could be, they've never, uh, their toe has never, not even one little toe, has touched the inside of a university. Just the grounds. But they know better. And they've never even cracked a book, a textbook. They've never taken a test. They've never studied it at all. I mean, some of them did, may have opened a book, magazine, or something, you know, rag, and that makes them an expert. Okay, or they watched it on TV. <laughs> I don't know. You, until your brain has gone through being tested and tested and tested and tried and tested, no. And then you have to earn, there's that word, E-A-R-N, earn, earn it, earn that degree, earn that right to say they're a voice of authority, earn it. No, you're not it. But these are people who believe that they are just because they say that they are. Just because they know that they, they say that they are, they can con people into money. It's it, Most often, and what I have seen personally, I cannot say that across the board. None of this is across the board. But what I've seen is involves money. So, I'm hearing some voices, and I where the people coming from. She might have to start looking at the sky soon. <laughs> or more of the sky. Yeah, I've got it zoomed like this on purpose. But anyway, um, where was I here? Yeah, de very delusional. How about very paranoid? Um, let's see here. You know, like that, that's a great timing when I just said, where's that noise coming from? <laughs> but yeah, the, no, no. No, let's go down and the right way. People who come up with these conspiracy theories. Okay, about people. Uh, how do you put it? Like, I'm talking about these two sides. But the, the either side, well, like, say the one side that the people are... Um, commenting about um, the ones who are putting out there all kinds of misinformation they're, they're basing it on conspiracy theories say that they're basing it on conspiracy theories could be their own and really it comes down to that they're just kind of paranoid okay but basically anything you know oh you know like even if some something that is something good that happened to them that can make it bad Something good happen to anybody. They can be, oh, well, yeah, you know what? There's really going on behind all that. You better be careful. Oh, you, what? You got what? No, there's something more to it. There has to be. You know, this kind of person. Yikes. Yeah. And the other side's making fun of them. Anyway, now these are the people I'm talking about here. Is how is all that working for you? Really, how is all of it working for the people who think 
that they, all these commentaries, you know, all these reviews that they do, take that person's videos and go through every word, word by word, or, you know, line by line, paragraph by paragraph, whatever, you know, and say, sit there pointing a finger at them, how's it working for you? What is your goal? Is your goal truly just to uh, get them off of that platform, to shame them, to embarrass them? I don't, I don't know how you're going to do that. But uh, I've never known people like that to ever be shamed off or changed in any way. You know, gotten rid of like that. And I'm not at all suggesting anything that's not legal. I'm suggesting only, I'm not suggesting anything, but it would have to be legal. Um, or is it really, you know, it's not worth it. Nothing is worth that. But, uh, hmm. Okay, anyways, as I've said in other videos, these, when things like this, you know, they, they know that these are people who actually even say, the, the commentary review people, they actually even say that, that, you know, these are the people who are actually involved in it, not somebody who's an observer, who doesn't know all the things that these other people know, they don't have all the re, quote unquote receipts, you know, um, but these are people who are actually involved and actually have been harmed or toe or whatever had things happen to them their friends because of their association or whatever with the other side of that fence you know they know they even state what they know that they should do because they even state things like oh this is against terms of service and this is against uh community guidelines this is against this is against whatever it's all against and they have receipts and they can prove it but they don't as I've said repeatedly, basically, it comes down to like, uh, really, what it all comes down to is, you know, the clicks and views, like they call them clicks and views, which means more money on both sides. Um, but here's something that I've felt more than once over the years. I've seen this over the years. I've been on uh, I'm making vi videos starting over eight years ago. Eight over. And, uh, you know, when it, anyway, when it really comes down to is, okay, is there just some kind of behind-the-scenes colossal joke? This is just a colossal joke. They're playing on the viewers. I mean, I'm not the only one that has said that. And someone said, well, that's a conspiracy theory. <laughs> yeah, it does sound like one, doesn't it? Not really a theory, but... Anyway. Um, but, yeah, you know, because... Some of the, they even themselves will say this about other people. So you do have to wonder, and you do have to wonder whenever they have their, their cash apps, their Vimos. Okay, I could say all these wrongs, wrong because I don't have them. But PayPal and uh, Super Chats and stickers, wasn't there? Or is that still a thing? Uh, all, you know, on different, I don't know what it is for other you know, all these other places, they have something else, too, that people can give you money. Yeah, not you, but give them money. You know, through it. I don't know. Memberships. Uh, what else? Patreon. There's so many different things where they're making money, too. And they're complaining about the people who are making money off of what, they're, what they dislike. You see... And it kind of, and it does, I, I get it, it does bring about some kind of, to some people, they go, hmm, yeah, I get it now. And it takes some people a while before they get it. But I have seen this in various communities over eight years. It wasn't until recently that I saw it. Uh, the latest one, it's not just one either. And of course, there's a commentary, commentary, is that what they call themselves? Review channels, uh, drama, crama, true crime. Uh, I don't even know what I would call the other ones. But vlogs. They say more like vlogs. But some would not call them drama. Anyway, just people living their lives, you know, and people, and, or just people who are more, hmm. What would be the word for it? I don't know, and I, all these years I've been online. What was what is the draw the um 
the genre. It's about to start getting busy with kids over here now. See the school bus coming in. One of them. Yep. So anyway, but but really, okay, I'm getting to this slowly. It's what is the next move? If you are, if they are, these people are really dedicated to saying that these are people who are extremely bad, and they do say this in various ways that they want these people off the platform. Okay, <laughs> and then they say that they're not ones to go real life, which to them. Uh, means something like uh, reporting it to the social media platform, um, whomever, you know, and reporting it. Okay. Uh, but they're not going to go there. Why? If you are that sure of yourself and that sure that these people are wrong and you have the receipts as you put out, you know, I'm not talking to you, I'm saying universal you. Um, then why aren't you? I know you're part of that snitches, get stitches, yeah, mentality. But are you really? Seriously, come on. You're still making money, right? See, that now that's more that cons that's some that what some could call a conspiracy. But when you keep putting it out and other people keep saying, you know, when there's like a consensus amongst. Other people say, yeah, yeah, we've heard this story so many years. You just lather and repeat. Okay. And then they, they show that they're not any better because they seem to be obsessed with certain people. Okay, so so what is next? If, if you're not going to do that, if you're not willing to go, which, I, which in ways I can understand, okay, you're not willing to go and report them because in a way see some people think that if they report them that immediately that's it that that channel's taken down it's over it's done since when i don't think in all these eight years eight over eight years that i have seen that be that simple and even the, you know unless it's something um i mean unless it's i don't even want to say those things you know, where someone's no longer there to be there. You know, they, yeah, you, you see what I'm saying, maybe. But, um, when, it, when maybe they just need a go to the principal kind of moment. Some of them act like children, but, yeah, you know, okay, you need to go and sit in your corner and think about what you did. That kind of thing. You know, Dunn's hat. Dunce Hat was even before my time, I think. <laughs> I remember hearing about it when I was a kid. Uh, but to sit in the corner with your nose in the corner with a Dunce Hat on, it said Dunce, I don't know. Because it could have been before my time. And, uh, but for them to, to be timed out, okay? You got a timeout chair, go sit in it. An adult timeout. You know, and strike three, you're out total. That's what I've heard. And then I've heard some people say that they have been told, you know, that some of these people, they've been reported time and time and time and time again, and they never get their channel channel taken down, and they're really bad. I, I saw one for a long time. It was bad. And eventually, I don't know who the woman was. I didn't follow all that kind of stuff, you know, to find out, but they got that person off of the uh, platform. And, uh... But see, that, that's, that's one of those things when I was growing up, and I think it was even before my time, I recall hearing people say, put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> I was always like, huh? <laughs> it was a look at, huh? Put your money where your mouth is. This is the kid. I was taking it quite literal, you know. Put your money where your mouth is. Uh, but these things, these people who are making money off of these people that they're commenting about and reviewing it, well, put your money where your mouth is do something. You, you really think you got all that. You really think you know all that. You have all those receipts and you are adamant. You are firm in your decision that these people shouldn't be around. Yeah, but are you going to? I'm not telling anybody what to do or not do. Yeah, but how, I mean, are you really a person who 
um, stand your ground who, if you've been hurt by them or uh, you the type of person who uh, it's the principle of the matter you know different kind of principle it's an LE and it's a uh, PAL is a PLE but uh okay it's starting <laughs> something funny just happened to Oh man, that would be one of those uh, Sean for the moment <laughs> if it was. But it was more of the, the look on the guy's face like, what the? <laughs> it wasn't the accident that happened, it was the what the? <laughs> on his face. Uh, he was on a scooter and all of a sudden the scooter hit on the sidewalk. The scooter hit something. And uh, okay, the scooter hit a little bump in the road on the sidewalk. And he just had to stop, and he, he turned, I'm serious, he turned around and looked at, what he saw when he turned around and looked was me in my car, my SUV, and it was like, what the, <laughs> what happened to him? So, but some people would be, there, there's an example right there, some people would be laughing at the fact that he almost fell. That's not funny. People almost falling, that's not funny at all. But if somebody has a look of, what the, that, that's kind of funny. You see what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm glad I had already lifted it up because there's a lot of people walking around now. Okay, now where was I? Um, but yeah. Okay, so so what what do you what would you think would be the next move for somebody who's not going to do any of that, but you're going to just keep talking? You know, at some point, it really seriously does get like oh, year after year after year, same old, same old, pa. You know, because I cannot think of any of them who haven't basically it seemed like that they're obsessed with certain people and they can't seem to shake it. You're going to follow somebody all their lives online just and show that filthy kind of side to yourself, that mean girl, mean boy. You know, adult men, girl, adult men, boy. These are all adults. Over and over and over. And then and there's a, there's the whole thing of thinking about think about these people who are you're talking about. Some of them are enjoying the heck out of it. They are enjoying you seeming. You know, I'm saying you. It's that other side, the adult men, girl, adult men, boy, or the people who are watching and getting a kick out of it whole thing, Sean Freud, sadism, whatever, that, those, they're getting a kick, they're, they are themselves getting a kick out of it, out of you seeming like you're that disturbed by them, they're getting a thrill of their lifetime out of this, and then they're so smug with who they are, and they are powerful, they are the most powerful on this platform, kind of people, yeah. Okay, really, and you're what? <laughs> Are you paying attention? Are you hearing it? Anyway, I'm wrapping this up. I'll talk to y'all in another video. Bye.